Hello and welcome to Jo Gard's Writing Life. I'm Jo, I'm a writer and script consultant based in the UK and this is my channel where I talk about all things writing related. Uh, for my first video I wanted to make something uh, really quick and really simple so I thought why not do a few tips. So here are my top tips for writers. Tip number one get a writing routine. I cannot stress enough how important this tip is. Um, all successful writers have something in common and that is the fact that they actually write. Without words on the page we really do have nothing so it's really really important that you get writing whether that's every day or one day a week. Some writers like to write from nine in the morning till five at night seven days a week. Other people might set aside a couple of hours on a Saturday morning and that's their writing time. Find something that works for you, but the most important thing is that you stick to it. You know, if you're only writing a couple of hours a week especially, you really need to protect that time. Over here in England at the moment the weather's beautiful and it's tempting to think, oh I'll go for a bike ride and I'll do my writing tomorrow, but then something will happen tomorrow and then a week will pass and then another week will pass and before you know it you haven't written anything. So the important thing is to write when you can, pick a routine, stick to it and write. Tip number two, turn off your inner editor. Now this is something that I struggle with on a regular basis. I'm constantly, when I'm writing away, I'm thinking this is rubbish, ugh, oh, that line of dialogue is horrible. Um, but you know, you have to kind of switch that off and keep going. It is tricky, I know, but it's honestly better to finish a project and then fix things later in the rewrite because at the end of the day, the rewrite is the really hard part. The first draft is supposed to be the fun part. It's where you're embracing your creative process and you're letting your ideas flow. I know lots of writers like to read uh, what they've written the day before, perhaps to get back into the groove of a scene or to get into the voice of a character, and I do that sometimes too, but I try not to spend too much time on the writing that's already done because I can't, you know, I'll start tweaking and before I know it I've spent two hours rewriting and I haven't got any new content. So where possible, try and keep moving forward with your writing, just keep going until you get to the end. Also, another point about turning the inner editor off is when you're actually writing as well. Don't, um, you know, don't be constantly ready to criticise yourself. It's really, really hard not to be critical about every single word on the page. But sometimes it's best to just get it out, even if it's a rubbishy line, even if it's crappy dialogue, whatever. Get it down, um, because you can fix it later. If you don't get it down, then there's nothing there to fix. So switch off that inner editor, switch off that inner critic, and keep writing. Tip number three, don't over plan. Now, this is going to sound a little odd coming from someone with a background in screenwriting, because that, that's my background, uh, screenwriting and script consultancy. And in screenwriting, planning and outlining is everything. You know, going to script is pretty much the last step on the ladder. But there is such a thing as over planning. Um, I don't know if I'm alone in this. I've talked to other writers and some of them kind of agree with me. But if you overplan, like if you write everything down to like a minute detail, then when it comes to actually writing, I feel like you're clipping your writing wings. Overplanning can actually damage the creative process. If you're being so rigid and you're trying to stick to a structure, then you're not going to leave yourself room um, to be open to creative ideas and new processes. And I think that staying open is a really important thing in your first draft. So, what do you do rather than over planning? So for me, I like to just do what I call a one pager, which is a one page rough outline. You know, it's got all the big moments in the story, the bare bones, the structure, and it might even have the ending. Um, but there's also a lot of freedom there to maybe introduce new characters or, you know, go in a different direction. How do you know what's behind that door if you don't go and look? You know, you want to have the freedom to do that. If you think of it in a, the same vein as a road trip, if I decided I was going to drive from Liverpool to London, then I know my starting point and I know my end point, and I might know the motorways or the roads that I'm going to be driving down, but I'm not going to know every single town along the way. That's part of the discovery of the journey, so along the journey I will learn the towns, and that's kind of like writing. You kind of want a rough idea, you want to know where you're starting from, where you're finishing, and the road you're going to go down, but there's 
also all those little towns, those little writing moments, those characters, those doors you're going to open along the way. You know, stay open to those things. Stay open to that creative process. Don't be a slave to structure. So that was my top tips for writers. For more tips you can head over to my blog, I've got an extended article on the same subject, uh, details in the box below. I'm going to be uploading new content every week on YouTube and every week on my blog, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah, if you like what you see you can follow me on Instagram as well, I have writing tips and dogs and yoga and smoothies and all sorts of crazy drama going on over there. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon, bye bye.